The October game is a tale from Shock Suspense Stories number 9, drawn by Al Feldstein and based on a short story by Ray Bradbury. Mitch places his gun in the dresser drawer. It's not a proper tool for making Louise suffer. He wants her to suffer. Looking out the window, trick-or-treaters have taken over the streets. Mitch hates October. The autumn season has brought him nothing but sadness since he was a child. Spring brings him happiness, but tonight an overwhelming sense of dread makes him believe there will be no spring. Mitch hides his tears from Marion, his young daughter. She's ready for Halloween, skeleton mask and all. Mitch despises his wife and daughter. Louise never wanted children, but he forced her. He wanted a son, with dark hair and eyes like his own. Instead, she gave birth to blonde-haired, blue-eyed Marion. Mitch took this as an insult, Louise's payback for his selfishness. The labor left Louise unable to have any more children. Mitch will never have a son. Eight Halloweens with Marion has been enough. This will be the last. The doorbell rings. Marion excitedly helps Louise welcome their guests. Louise has the house dressed for a Halloween party. Mitch ponders leaving Louise, but no, he has to hurt her, like she hurt him. He will take Marion away from her. He joins the party, greeting everyone. By 10 p.m., the party is in full swing. Mitch leads all the games for the kids and gives the parents a special cider to drink. It's time for all to descend into the dark basement, or the witch's tomb, as it shall be known tonight. Once everyone has settled into the tomb, Mitch carries Marion to attend the festivities. Everyone sits in a circle. Light is completely absent. Mitch begins. The witch is dead. He passes along the knife that killed her, followed by her head, her arm, each part handed off from partygoer to partygoer. You know this old game, as does one of the kids. He's not impressed. It's a clay head, a marble for an eye, corn for teeth, a soup bone as an arm, and chicken innards for organs. Some of the kids are grossed out and refuse to touch these witch's body parts. Mitch keeps passing the witch's pieces around. Next up is the heart. Louise is concerned Marion might be too afraid of this game. She calls her daughter's name. No answer. Mitch assures Louise that Marion is not afraid. The game continues. Louise is not satisfied. She still calls Marion, shouting her name over and over. The room falls quiet. Louise is hysterical. Where is her daughter? She is terrified, begging for the lights to remain off. The game stops. One of the boys runs upstairs to find Marion. She is nowhere to be found. Then someone turns on the lights, and everyone sees. The October Game is a Halloween tale taken from the work of Ray Bradbury's. The narration panels, dialogue, and art follow his original text beat for beat, oftentimes word for word. Not much to compare, but the comic does cut out some of the minor details. The concept of a father's hatred manifesting in such a macabre way can give modern horror a run for its money. Both versions leave the final image to our own disturbed imaginations. Mitch wants revenge against Louise. Marion is nowhere to be found. Witch's organs are passed around like a game. You tell me what that party saw when the lights came on. Happy Halloween.